tonight. Uh, Phil, as always, orchestrated this whole thing. You know, I've seen him 18 times in the crowd tonight, shuffling people and things around. He finally sat Karen and I, my wife, and uh, me, uh, uh, down here at the DeVito clan table. This first time I'd met Albert. Uh, and I'm not sure what I went through here, but Albert asked me for a favor, and then he kissed me on both cheeks. Now, what is that? <laughs> we are here kind of representing the customer. I don't go back as far as a lot of you would feel. Uh, we, about 1978, 79 is when I, I met him before, but I became a, I went from a customer to a friend, I think, in one night, and, and it was like that throughout the duration, all the years, and we would spend the birthdays and the anniversaries and the special events at Salishan, and a good part of the reason, of course, was to get on, get on and see Phil. And I was reminded today, Phil, as I went through a bookcase I have in the libraries, I was trying to make some notes, of uh, Freddy Krueger. I don't know how many of you knew Freddy. Yeah. Uh, it was a night of nights when you could be seated with Freddie and Phil was with you. And that was just one of those special occasions, and that's what we look forward to. Um, Phil, I have to say, has been a good friend, and more than um, just a man who helps me select wines at Salishan. Uh, I, like maybe many other people who are customers, uh, who were guests in Salishan, would ask Phil on occasion, you know, I'd say, should I ask him? And I'd say, Phil, I want to uh, maybe buy some wine uh, for home. You, you understand? I mean, I want to, you know, could you give me a little advice? Well, when he had time, he'd sit down. Now, Phil would do this like a doctor, fill out a prescription. He would ask you about your life. When you got home, what time you ate, what food you like to eat, red or white, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I will have to say that, Phil, we are still drinking the wine that you sold us, I believe, out of the cellar. And Karen and I really like wine in a box a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. DeVito has, and I've it's been mentioned about the weather, Phil has other talents besides the business of wine. It was about, I'm, I'm going to say, about 1983, 84, and a lady, we were just seated. Phil was standing in front with the wine. He selected, we, he selected for us. He was pouring a little wine. The lady at the next table leaned over and she says, Mr. Bosley, she said, uh, my, my children are coming over here uh, this weekend, and the grandchildren, and I was wondering what kind of weather it was going to be. And I said, well, it uh, looks like it's going to uh, be showery. I, I'm sorry, but it's going to be kind of showery. And Phil, as he was finished touring, leaned into me and said, I don't think so, and he walked off. <laughs> <laughs> so the lady said, you are the weatherman, aren't you? <laughs> so a couple of minutes later, the maitre d' and Freddy Krueger came to the table at the same time. Freddy laid something down, the maitre d' said to him, and I said, wait a minute, you two guys live here on the coast. Uh, you've been out here, Fred, you've probably been fishing earlier today. Uh, what does it look like to you? Does it look like showers? And Freddie looked at the maitre d' and then looked at me and said, we'll have to ask Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say in your return, Mr. DeVito, I am, uh, I talked to Jan a little earlier. I'm quite aware of probably some of the problems she's going to have. Um, you know, I have to tell you this, this is the first time you understand that I have, Phil has been on the show, and I have seen Phil only at Salishan over the years many times. I have never seen Phil out of a tux. I, he's in a suit and I, I couldn't hardly recognize him. And that's one thing Jan has to get used to, is that, you know, coming down to dinner and then going into watching TV in his slippers and his tuxedo is going to have to be something else. But and all the times you've seen Phil at Salishan, have you ever thought to yourself, I wonder what he looked like mowing the lawn in Bermuda shorts and a tank top? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> well, Phil, I uh, want to thank you very much for 
being a good friend and being very kind to us. Uh, the one thing I think I remember about Phil most is that when you walked into the dining room and it was packed, Phil made you feel like you were the only one there. And throughout the evening, as he passed from table to table, and he came to you and to your table, he would be very kind, of course, and very gracious. And he felt like, in fact, you were the only two people in the whole living room, in the whole dining room. Part of it is because of what Phil left there. But there's wonderful people. Service is great. We were just there celebrating our anniversary in the middle of this week. And uh, we met the new cellar master there, uh, Eddie Valente. 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 Very nice guy. He served me wine in a box. <laughs> Tradition goes on. But I want to say, Phil, Phil DeVito at Salishan, those were some very good years. Thank you, Phil.
have become acquainted with over the last uh, 47 years in Portland that I've worked with, and people that I've served. After a couple of weeks, I realized I ended up with about five or 600 names. And I said, this is ridiculous. Too many names. But uh, it did ensure a, a packed house. <laughs> Think of the revenue that we could have made.
without going any further because I don't give speeches. <laughs>